Please welcome CEO and co-founder of Palantir, Dr. Alex Karp. Hello? Oh, it actually works. Um, well, congrats. I'm very, very happy to have you. Uh, um, and, uh, um, you know, it, it's always, they always basically, before these talks, there's like, they're always like, well, what are you going to talk about? And some, for some people, they're curious. For many people, they're like, could you please not, like, talk about, you know, how stupid the analysts are or how great this country is and uh, how Silicon Valley was only focused on trinkets and destroyed our culture, uh, don't talk about meritocracy and how we championed it, um, don't talk about how this has been a pre, uh, pro-free speech uh, bastion of excellence, uh, don't talk about how it seems that everybody who is involved in reforming uh, this uh, country is somehow uh, worked at Palantir. Obviously, they worked at Palantir. We have the very best engineers, and we hired people independent of all variables except for excellence and taught them how to build. Uh, don't talk about the superiority of the West. Uh, don't talk about how wonderful and great our customers are. Uh, don't, especially don't talk about how as smart as Silicon Valley is on everything, they were wrong about the nature, use, and utility of large language models. Don't, don't ever use, the, don't ever say that uh, pe people in Silicon Valley love that when you basically buy technology that's equivalent of masturbation at your own expense. Uh, don't talk about how Palantir supports copulation over self-pleasuring. Uh, don't, don't talk about the O word ontology and how it can make your company better, faster, superior. Your, don't talk about how every institution in the world is going to reform. Don't say anything positive about Doge. Don't ever mention how you might actually like and respect Elon ever uh, uh, under any circumstance. Uh, don't, don't, mention, uh, don't mention that we must have a superior military or that the military integrated in the Korean War and that it, people, especially in Silicon Valley, who were against the military were against an institution that integrated our society independent of race, class, and color in the Korean War all the way through. Uh, don't talk about how unit economics matter more than uh, having a sales force. Uh, and don't talk, especially never ever talk about how this company, Palantir, with you, uh, is going to partner to create so much value creation where you keep the value you create uh, and it's not a pair, we're not a parasitic uh, uh, bug attached to you where we get the high multiple and you get a steak dinner. Uh, and, um, and don't talk about our bright future. Uh, and, you know, <laughs> it's a long list of things you're not supposed to talk about. So, any case, uh, it's, uh, it, this is a moment that Palantir predicted. I would say Palantir engineers and Palantir uh, 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 it, it, people have now gone on to create some of the more interesting business in the world. What often is not, uh, uh, but the more obvious direct uh, uh, thing was we always had the best partners. Uh, we had the best partners we, the reason we had the best partners or customers or clients or whatever you want to call it is because we went to people and said, look, we're going to expose you to our products. Our products are maximally adaptive. The products are set up to make the individual tribal knowledge of your military and in intel service commercial company agnostic to the underlying product you're building. They will be the best in the world because the underlying technical problems that you need to solve that are preventing you from being the very, very best at what you do, which I, I, we, at base does mean building the thing around something that is unique. America is, unique, is an absolutely unique country in the history of humanity. The way we fight is different than how other people fight. The way you build your company is different. But to, to actually control that company, to control the company the way you need to control it for the best output, meaning you have the most impact at the cheapest cost, you are going to need something like Foundry and Ontology, and you're going to have to make LLMs useful again. And, uh, uh, and, 
And, and, and then we're very, very, very focused on value creation internally. And I was talking to someone yesterday about an echo we hired. And he was like, yeah, the first six months were really painful. And I was like, why? He's like, yeah, because everywhere else I have all these rules and the rules control what, what the, 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 how you evaluate the outcome. And at Palantir, the only rule we care about in our products and working with you is your company becomes more valuable. Now, we did that for good reasons. A long list, Western superiority, I believe in this stuff, we believe in it, we fight for it, we fight for it independent of our own interests. But honestly, we also do it because we can't rely on popularity to win. We gotta make you really happy because there are gonna be days where you're really not gonna wanna hang out with us because we're gonna be telling you, yeah, this, we've seen this before, this is not how you solve the problem. And you, this, or this problem can be solved but concurrently not in Foundry, you'd have to build things, you're gonna have to wait the couple weeks it takes us to do it. Uh, and uh, which is how we built the company. You know, we were like, yes, we are going to get this done in a couple weeks. This is how we started at Clandest and Services in America. So this is deeply, in, we believe in speed. We believe in, uh, in value creation. And I would say one of the things I'm very, very proud of that I hope we accomplish, we learn a ton from you. And it, the, the thing that I, I'd like to hope that we impart on every institution is, You've got to flatten. You've got to focus on value proposition. It's the only thing that matters. Now, everyone knows this, but executing against it is super hard. And we all know inside every company, there are lots of barriers to this. And our job is to make those barriers lower for you simply because the time it takes for you to prove value is gone. In Foundry, if you did it, it took six, might take six months to transform. Now it could take six days. So you can really get ahead of the value curve and transform. And you need to do this because the person down the street is going to otherwise do it, and you'll lose. And we want you to win. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm wildly enthusiastic about where we are, wildly enthusiastic about, uh, about uh, the people we are partnering with, uh, and uh, wild enthusiastic about our, our supporters in our investor base. Um, and, you know, it's the mission of this company to be the best value-creating software provider in the world in five years, in 10 years, uh, and to help everyone in this room to be able to stand up and be like, we are the best company in our space that has ever existed, bar none. Uh, and so, yeah, super delighted to have you here. Uh, there are lots of exciting partners, uh, and whatever we can do to support, I want to do it. And uh, thanks for coming. <laughs>